Welcome to the lesson on Standard Graphics Libraries and the Fatbit Editor in Inspiration. When you open the default settings in Inspiration, you are greeted by the single central symbol, and to the left of that, the Symbols palette, which has two tabs, Search and Libraries. If it's not in view, press Ctrl-8. In the Libraries tab, there is a drop-down menu just to the right of the name of the currently showing library, which usually speaking is Basic. If you click on the drop-down menu, you are greeted by a list of about 17 inbuilt graphics libraries, many of which have their own subsections, as donated by the little triangular arrow. So, to select a library, just scroll down to the heading you want, in this case Science, then choose from the list which opens up to the right, and I'll select Space. When you do this, a new palette appears, and you can select whichever symbol or graphic you want. As you can see, in this instance, many of the symbols are actually miniature photographs, as opposed to the more common drawings. At the bottom of the palette, you can see two arrows, which when you click on them, allow you to scroll through the libraries in a fairly speedy way. When you come to the Numbers section, which is in the Process Library, you can see that the symbols are numbered up to 15. If you want a higher number than this or want to create your own icon, go to the blank number symbol at the top of the Symbols palette and select and drag it. Then double-click in the left-hand strip, which opens up the Strip Symbol Editor. As you can see, you can edit your fat bits, or you can edit text. To activate the fat bit editor, click the radio button. Then click and drag in the black rectangle, drawing the shape you want. When you've finished, click OK. If you want to use the text editor, type the words you want in the box, and then adjust the font size, and so on in the drop-down menus below. However, you are somewhat limited in what you can fit in, as the strip does not alter its size to accommodate the width of your text, regardless of how large the overall symbol is. So if you use the text editor, just use it for labels, rather than any longer messages. There is a separate lesson on the search function in custom libraries. But that brings us to the end of this lesson on graphics libraries and editing text and fat bits in inspiration.